some of our newest babies. Um, they are not the first babies of the year, but they are the second. <laughs> so we've got, um, our first babies were um, some infant mice that we're also taking care of, but these guys are three infant squirrels. Um, it is squirrel nesting season right now, so the moms are having their babies up in the trees, um, and in the case of this litter, which I can pull them out here, um, they were found at the base of a tree. Um, the rescuers did the right thing by calling us. We did try and reunite them with mom first. Um, unfortunately, she did not come back, so um, that's why they ended up here with us. And they're probably about a week old, um, I would say. They do have a little bit of bruising probably from the fall from the tree, so we are treating them for that. But overall, they've been doing really well. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and feed them. Um, this time of year, since it is nesting season, it is um, important to kind of take into consideration any tree trimming or yard work that you're doing since there may be babies up in that tree. Um, a lot of wildlife will use older trees um, that are kind of rotting or dying um, as great little nesting spots for their babies. first one out here. And we're going to stimulate them to go to the bathroom here. These guys right now are getting fed five times a day from eight in the morning to into the evening. <laughs> Can you talk about why you're stimulating them? Like, what what are we replicating? Yeah. Um, so the so baby mammals they can't um, go on go to the bathroom on their own. Um, they need a little help from their moms. Um, usually the moms kind of do that just by licking um, to get them to go to the bathroom. But we're not going to do that here. So. <laughs> So we use just a, a little Q-tip with some warm water. Seems to work pretty well. Just making sure our formula here is warm for them. That's perfect. And what are they getting? Um, we purchased special squirrel formula. Um, so every mammal kind of has um, certain milk um, formula that works best for them. And these guys, we have um, slightly higher protein in their, their milk. Um, so a dog um, or puppy formula, which we hear a lot, um, wouldn't really work for them. So we, we purchased squirrel formula for them. Um, there are some companies that kind of specialize in that. So it's very important that they get the right type of formula, um, especially at their age of development so that they can grow properly sometimes without it or on a different type of formula, they'll end up with um, digestive issues or metabolic bone disease um, or just kind of a, a couple of things we see when animals are fed different formulas. And how do you determine how much they get? So we kind of base it on how they're developing. So basically if they're gaining weight really well, um, we kind of do a certain percentage of their body weight. If they're not, if they're not gaining weight well, um, we kind of modify that um, to kind of fit what works for them. They may have some injuries um, that require extra calories, um, or if they're very dehydrated, um, that could be another thing that we have to fix first. But for the most part, they get about 5% of their body weight. And these guys are eastern fox squirrels. So it's the most common squirrel we get here at Wild Care. But we do also get 
gray squirrels and flying squirrels. Um, we've gotten a few chipmunks. suckling well on his own so you're not like putting much pressure on the syringe is that correct right yeah so squirrels can aspirate really easy so getting it into their lungs this guy is suckling really well so I'm just kind of letting him do most of the work and just kind of going at a slow pace so I don't go too quickly for him sometimes the formula gets a little cooled off too so we'll refresh it keeping them wrapped up because right now they don't have much fur um, or really any. <laughs> They're kind of naked right now. Um, I think in about another week they'll start growing it in. But So we do keep them in our incubator to keep them warm. And if you'll notice their eyes are still closed too. So these guys would definitely still be in the nest um, with mom at this age. They've also, their ears are actually still closed too, so they can't hear too much right now. <laughs> when they're first born, um, they are pretty pink. Um, these guys are starting to get a little peach fuzz growing in. Um, and they're kind of getting that darker color on the, the backs and tops of their head. That's kind of one of the ways we can tell how old they are. And this is likely just the beginning for us, correct? Like, we will get many more. Yes, we will be getting many more. Um, I think we usually get about 300 squirrels in the mm -hmm. spring season, so... Um, Squirrels have two nesting seasons. The bigger one is in the spring, so starting in February um, and going until um, about April for the, for the oldest squirrels. Um, and then they'll have another litter in the fall um, starting around August. So if you're doing any tree trimmings, it's kind of best to avoid those months if you're worried about squirrel babies. And someone asked if there's just one or do we have uh, we have three, so they're all siblings. They came in together. They were all found at the, the bottom of the tree. So this is just one of them, and we've got two more in our, our basket here that we're also gonna be feeding. And could you talk a little bit more about how people might um, go about reuniting, or would you prefer they call us first to get instructions? I guess it, it can depend on the situation too. Yep. It, it always depends on the situation. Um, if an animal is ever injured, we just recommend bringing it in right away. Or if it ever had an interaction with your dog or cat, um, it's best to just bring them in right away. But if um, they look overall healthy, there's no bruising or blood, um, there were no cats or dogs around them when they were found, um, a lot of times we can try and reunite. Um, we like to keep them warm, so we usually recommend placing a hot water bottle or um, a, usually a, a rice sock, um, some rice put in a, a sock and kind of microwaved for a bit will act as a temporary heating pad. So we can add that next to them, um, kind of wrapped up in a towel at the base of the tree where we think the nest is where they came from. And mom will actually come down the tree and pick them back up um, if she's still around. So we usually recommend people leave them there for about six hours or so um, during daylight hours only. Um, and if keeping a distance, watching from a distance, just to make sure there's no neighborhood cats or anything like that, kind of investigating them too. Um, Mom will usually come back um, and pick them up and just carry them back to the nest. Unfortunately, that didn't happen with these guys, but they are doing really well. Um, 
we have a question where do fox squirrels usually have or keep their babies so uh, kind of two methods for for nesting um, they will sometimes do cavities um, so if a tree has um, kind of an old hole in it maybe from a woodpecker or um, just kind of a tree limb that broke off um, that's one way um, that they can nest in those. They also sometimes build um, leaf nests. So if you look up in the tops of trees in your neighborhood, you might see a big clump of leaves kind of in between the, the limbs. Those are squirrel nests also. Um, and usually squirrels will have a few different nests in case the wind knocks one of them one of their nests out or something like that. So that way they can move their babies to a safer location. So usually a leaf nest or kind of a, a cavity nest is what they usually nest in. We had somebody notice your cup warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it is a coffee cup warmer that we use to kind of, um, we don't put the milk directly in the cup if you'll notice the Milk is in a little plastic thing that floats in the warm water, and that um, lets us kind of keep the formula at a, at a warm rate, but not too warm. All right, so I think um, Elise is on uh, squirrel number two now. Um, she's got one more to go, but the process is basically the same. Um, like Elise said, it is baby squirrel season now, so if you find a baby squirrel or, um, or have concerns about anything, um, just let us know. We're here every day from 9 to 7. You can always call or email or message us on Facebook. We try to respond um, as quickly as we can. Um, somebody asked if we have a link for donations on the feed. I don't think we do on this feed, um, although I might be able to add it at the end, but we do have one on our Facebook page. Um, and that's a great and easy way to, to donate to Wild Care and kind of help us continue doing what we do. Um, as you can see, there is a lot, a lot of specialized um, kind of equipment we use and milk formulas and all of that kind of helps us make sure these babies have the best chance um, for a successful release back to the wild. So thank you so much, Elise. Bye.